Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have a Windows Live account, you can use your SkyDrive to store a shared notebook, allowing you to access it with any computer connected to the Internet. If the computer you access it with does not have OneNote, you can use the OneNote web application to view and edit the notebook. Now to share an existing notebook to your SkyDrive, you will first need to create a new notebook on your SkyDrive account and then move your content to that notebook. To do so, click the File tab in the ribbon to enter Backstage View, and then select the New command from the menu at the left, and then click or tap the SkyDrive option under the New Notebook area. Then click the Sign In button that appears to the right to log into your account, or you can click the Sign Up link to create a new one. Now we're already signed into our SkyDrive account, which is why it says Teach You Comp Teachers SkyDrive. Once you're logged in to your account, you can enter a name for your notebook in the Notebook Name text box to the right. and then click the Create Notebook button just below it. Now, as with all newly created shared notebooks, OneNote will ask you if you'd like to invite people to share this or not, and we'll choose Not Now. Now it's time to move the content. With the newly created and the old notebook both open, click and drag the sections to the new notebook on SkyDrive, and then you can press F9 on your keyboard to synchronize the notebooks. Now let's take a look at an easy way to do this. We want to really take a look at the different notebooks that are open. And if you're using 2013, we have our notebook drop-down, of course. If you're using an earlier version, you have the notebook navigation on the left-hand side here. Remember that if we click the drop down here, we can click the pin that says Pin Notebook Pane to the side. We'll give that a click. And now we can see all of our open notebooks. And so to move content, I can click on the notebook that I want to move content from and click and drag the sections to the new notebook that we added to our SkyDrive account. And I could repeat that process as I see fit. Now, once the new notebook has been saved to your SkyDrive, you can access it with any computer connected to the Internet, even if it doesn't have OneNote installed. Let's go ahead and take a look at our SkyDrive account. We need to locate the file and then click to select it and open it in the OneNote web app, which is a free web application that has some but limited functionality of the full OneNote application. In our SkyDrive account, we have files, recent docs, shared, and so forth. But what we want is our files here, and here's our document. So I'll click on that, and you'll see we have a personal, but we also have our work sample that we just created. So I'll give that a click. And then you'll see that that will open in the OneNote web app here. Again, this has limited functionality. But within this web app, you can click the Home tab in the ribbon. And if you want, you can click Open in OneNote, that button right there, to open the notebook in the full application with complete functionality, assuming, of course, it is installed on the computer that you're using. Now you have all of your other SkyDrive features available as well, allowing you to edit, share, and download your notebook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.